The overall goal of this protocol is to combine immunofluorescent staining with DNA fluorescent in situ hybridization on a 3D functionalized wire, and to identify immunophenotype and fish signals on this support using a conventional wide field fluorescence microscope. This method can help answer key questions in the field of circulating tumor cell characterization, such as identifying therapy-related targets on circulating non-small cell lung cancer cells. The main advantage of this protocol is allowing the simultaneous identification of phenotypic parameters such as APCAM positivity and cytogenetic alterations such as ARC gene status to detect putative CTCs. Although this method was initially designed to provide insight into lung cancer CTC features, it can be also applied to the study of other cancer, like breast cancer. We developed this protocol while handling the wire for direct immunophenotyping and CTC detection. To obtain more data, we associated an immunophenotyping protocol with a DNA fluorescence in situ hybridization protocol. Handling the wire is not easy mainly because the functionalized tip is fragile. A visual demonstration will add the readers reproducing the steps. To begin the experiment, resuspend the entire contents of a T75 flask that is at 80% confluence and a 5 milliliter vial using 4 milliliters of complete medium. Next, Remove the wire from its glass packaging. Dip the functionalized gold part of the wire into the vial.